Hello fellow YouTubers. In this video we're going to go over my Red Cat Ground Pounder. Now this is going to be a fairly short video. I mean as you can see the truck's not complete. There's not really much to go over but there's just some I want to get put out there. Alright. So for the body I'll be running on this it's going to be a Chevy C10 body by Pro Line. I'm going to be running yeah, I think I'm going to paint it white with like a black bed and I'm going to be running lights so I am. I'm going to be running two white LEDs in the front be wanting two white LEDs in the back and two red LEDs and that's pretty much it for the ball there's not much to say about it yet and tires just running stock tires I have some aluminum upgraded like steering rods stuff like that and um, stock drive shafts stock spur stock pinion and um, for the radio and receiver it is a Traxxas TQ top qualifier. It's a what is it? A three channel. There. The only reason I'm running this is because there's two channel ones, and that way both the front and rear steer will be controlled at the same time. Because I mean, some people don't like rear steer. I mean, I really like it. I think it's a lot more scale, and I don't feel like buying one of those more expensive radios. Whenever I already had this, that will operate the both of them. And for the ESC I'm running, it is just freaking cable tied in right now because I was gluing it down. It's a the same one as in my speed run car, a Tie Sky 120 amp. And the motor I'll be running, I have not decided yet. I think it's gonna be I think it's I think I'm gonna go with a Glor C. Of course nothing censored. For the battery, it will be a 3S4500 math fluorine. So it will be I have two of those batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Um I have almost all the axle parts, but I'm just going to buy a complete axle. And after I get the complete axle, the only thing I will need is that motor, servos, and that's it after I get the axle. And motor mount, motor mount too. Um, what else will there be over? I may upgrade to aluminum drive shafts front and rear. Like I said in my last video, this will be the truck that I haul around trailers with somehow. I want to attach it to the rear axle, but I know that it'll probably break the casing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through this, take another rod, put it back down at an angle, so it is like like this. That way I can have another straight bar that comes out that'll attach to the trailer that has like a ball or something, or the trailer has a pin that goes through the hole in that, so I can attach the trailer to haul both my speed run cars whenever I get speed run. Because well, all this stuff sucks carrying a backpack. I have a backpack that I can carry with tools, extra parts for me whenever I get speed run. I can speed run right up there. And it would be nice to have this truck running. I mean, just to haul everything. I mean, before, whenever I had it running, whenever I got it, I got this truck for $9. Believe it or not, I got it for $9 freaking dollars. And it ran whenever I got it. I just took the stuff out of it, put in other things, and yada, yada, yada. It was a pretty nice truck. Drove pretty good. I mean, for being a Red Cat, some people diss Red Cat, but... I mean, I like them. I mean, not those parts have broke because I I put this thing to its limits. And actually, the motor mount didn't break. That in my last video, I put that. I actually put that on my speed run car. So I did. And um, other things I'm going to be doing to this, um, not really that much because the truck's already perfect the way it is. I mean, it has an aluminum frame, aluminum tie rods, and stuff like that. It has a four link. I mean. It's an awesome truck. I mean, I did, whenever I had, to, I had to cut this apart, the chassis. That way I could put that body on there. I had to cut this top rack on here off. That way the cab would clear on here. And I had to cut some of this front piece out. That way the um, the bumper and stuff was getting caught up whenever I tried to put it down to mount it. And for the body mounts, I had to heat them up and bend them. That way it would catch the front holes. And um, what else? What else? I mean, there's not really much about this truck. I mean... It's kind of like a shell of a truck right now. I mean, I'm going to be running a Traxxas waterproof receiver box. I think the ESC might be waterproof. I'm not sure. I'm getting two twin 20 kilogram servos for the front and rear. Just like the one I have in my speed run car. Like I said, they're not speedy. The servos are not speedy, but they have a lot of torque to move these big tires back and forth. And these are big tires. So they are. They're bigger than the palm of my hand. And, well... I got pretty big hands, you know. See, I grip this controller. Fire wall, I can steer it with my thumb. So, 
that I can. And yeah, there's not much about this truck, but like I said in my other videos, drop down below like more content video one. Like I forgot to mention, I mess around with bicycles, I build motorized bikes, I ride bull wheelers, you know. I'm building a motorized chopper right now. I'm building a jab scrap puller right now. That has a six and a half horsepower predator motor on it, but it originally had 110 cc motor on it. But like I said, now it has that 6.5 horsepower predator, and I got to modify the frame that way the frame doesn't break. But like I said, I do, I do welding, grinding, and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I do a lot of stuff. I got a lot of free time, except for school starts up and back up in a couple days, and I'm 14. I mean. I fish, like I said in the last video, I fish, stuff like that, just drop down in the content, I know I don't really have any subscribers right now, but I'm, I want to get a lot more, and that's why I'm doing more videos, that way, you know, maybe I plan to retire, maybe I could get money from YouTube, you know, not get to monetize or anything, but, I mean, I'd be pretty neat to do fishing videos, I would like to put out a video as often as I can, but I don't like to do videos when there's other people around, because it's kind of weird, you know, talking to myself, talking to you guys, on this friggin' phone video and this and putting this on YouTube and uploading it and sorry if there's like something that I mess up in here it's just I don't feel like editing these videos I don't edit them at all I haven't really added any music or anything but more to come in my future videos so there will be and this is basically all there is to know about my ground pounder right now there's not much about it oh yeah and I have fish tanks fish I raise fish breed fish stuff like that but like I said there's not much more about this ground pounder it's Basically stock stuff for electronics and some aluminum steering rods and stuff like that. That's it. And uh, this is the end of this video. See you guys. Hope you like the video. Bye.